Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Coffee With. I'm your host, Christopher Evans. Today on Coffee With, we are pleased to welcome Michael Halpern, CEO of PC Network Services. Hi, Michael. Hi, Christopher. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. I've seen a lot of the segments on the web and I'm really happy to be part of it. Thank you. Well, we're happy to have you. So you've had some pretty interesting leadership opportunities over the years with some companies like Xerox and Sprint. And I would like to know how those have helped you prepare for your role as CEO. Each of those companies has its own strengths and its own culture. And I've been very fortunate to work in what I think are some great companies and have some tremendous role models and tremendous mentors along the way. And I think that that helped me as I moved into the CEO role for the first time to have people that I could uh, kind of emulate and think about how would you know, that individual handle this kind of a situation. It's a tremendous experience. Sure. Are there folks in, outside of the industry that you follow for leadership examples? Oh, absolutely. I have a degree in political science and <laughs> do a lot of historical reading, so there's certainly heroes that I have throughout history that uh, I also look to in, in terms of their leadership style. In the technology industry, oftentimes it's tough to recruit and retain great people. How have you guys been successful in those endeavors? It's something that I've learned and worked at throughout my career. and. Uh, I'm, I'd, I'd like to think that throughout my career I've had the opportunity to build some really, really good teams and there are a couple of things that I've kind of learned along the way. The most important thing to building a great team is you just got to have the right people. I always look for A players and it's very difficult to do that when you've got an open position and you need to hire somebody right now and you're just not finding the person you're looking for, you have to have the patience to continue looking. A players want to work with other A players so you've got to start with just having great talent on the team. That's probably the most important thing. And with technical people, and most of the people who've worked for me throughout my career have been technical people, they do have different kinds of things that they're looking for. They're looking for those learning opportunities and the opportunities to grow on the job and the opportunity, like I said, to work with other A players. And those are the kinds of things you have to do to get people on board and continue to develop them and have them stick around. From a business development perspective, uh, the industry can often be challenging. There are lots of competition. How do you guys differentiate? Well, PC Network Services, the thing that really makes us different, I think, is our discipline and our standards. We are very, very focused on doing certain things certain ways, and we do those things with every single client we've got. We've got about 100 customers, and we pretty much deploy the same kinds of solutions and the same kinds of approaches uh, every place. We do the things that we know are going to work, and we keep doing those things over and over again. Occasionally, we'll run into a company where those things aren't really going to fit or the company wants to do it a different way. We just hey, you know, we're probably not your guys. But in those places that really are in our sweet spot, there's nobody better. How important are partners to your distribution network? Uh, we use uh, a lot of partners in terms of the, uh, the products and the equipment that we deliver. We are pretty much self-sufficient from a service delivery standpoint, which is really our focus. But a lot of the things that we do from a security perspective, from a server, network, all of those things are things that we do with, uh, with other OEMs and other partners in the industry. Are there certain trends you guys are watching and reacting to right now in the industry? Probably the two we hear about the most are security and the cloud. And security is certainly one, it's a really scary world out there. There's some very, very bad things going on and by definition it's a cat and mouse game and the mouse is always that one step ahead and that's the bad guys and they're always coming up with things and day zero attacks and it's really a scary world when people look at what the exposures are out there from malware to viruses to ransomware there's just some really scary things that are happening and the techniques that the bad guys are starting to use can be really really insidious so it's very very important that people put together a, a layered and thoughtful approach to security so that's something that we spend a lot of time thinking about the other thing is the cloud and a lot of people hear statistics about the cloud. Uh, there's definitely value in the cloud in certain spots. There's a little bit of hype around the cloud. There's people who will tell you that 90 to 95% of organizations are in the cloud, which is true. But if you think about all the things the cloud encompasses, from software as a service to tools out in the cloud, you kind of start to wonder, what are the other 5 or 10% doing? Um, why isn't everybody using some aspect of that? But there's organizations that w will come to us sometimes and go, you know, we still have things on premise and, and, and our own stuff and shouldn't all that stuff be blown, blown out into the cloud? Yeah. And the answer is maybe, but maybe not. There's a lot of reasons why um, it shouldn't be out in the cloud. You really need to be thoughtful about where you're going to use the cloud and where you're going to deploy that way. So in the time uh, you've had uh, in taking over as chief executive officer, what's been the biggest surprise? Oh, goodness. Uh, I would say the biggest surprise, actually, is the fact that there weren't that many surprises. 
you come into a situation like this and uh, moving into a company as I did a year ago, expecting to find things that you didn't expect. I came in thinking that PC Network Services was a great company, very well run, tremendous client satisfaction that's just very, very good at what we do, and that's pretty much exactly what I found. A lot of your clients are small to medium businesses. Uh, what are some specific challenges that those types of companies are facing right now? Uh, security certainly is one. Um, managing IT in a way, ultimately what these people want is they don't want to focus on IT. They want to focus on their business. They want their employees to be productive doing what their jobs are. They don't want them worried about is the network slow, is my machine up, do I have a virus, those kinds of things. So that's really what people are looking for is they're not really looking to have lots and lots of interaction with us. They're really looking for us to come in, set things up the right way, design it right, operate it right, manage it right, so that it just runs so that they can focus on their yeah. business. Take care of it and get out of the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, 25 years in business, that's a pretty long time. Uh, where do you see the business heading in the next couple of years? Definitely feel like uh, the cloud is going to continue uh, uh, to emerge and, and develop. I think there's going to be a spot for it. I don't think the whole world is going to migrate to the cloud, as some people were saying a few years ago. But that's definitely a piece. And technology is constantly evolving. Virtualization was a new thing 10, 12 years ago, and now it's pretty much ubiquitous. The cloud was a brand new thing only three or four years ago, and now it's, it's getting such broad adoption. So I think that it's just the continuing evolution of technology it really comes down to what is it that's going to make technology productive for businesses? What do they need to do in order to make themselves successful and be competitive and take care of their client? And Michael, if uh, our viewers would like to learn a little bit more about your company, where would you direct them? You can hit our website, www.pcnsinc.com. Well, it sounds like a pretty exciting time at PC Network Services and a good time to be one of your clients. So we wish you a lot of continued success, and thank you for joining us. Thanks, Christopher. Great to be here. And thank you for joining us on Coffee With.